This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Welcome to my bathroom. And yes, I am currently on the toilet, but let's talk about just how empty, boring, and white it is. Very unlike the rest of my loft, which isn't the biggest, but I do have little sections that I've already decorated. And so I've done the kitchen, my side, the bunnies area, and the bedroom. Arthur, on the other hand, I only gave him two areas his own side, and the bathroom. But this bathroom has stayed like this for the past three years. So I told them, your time is up. It is my turn to just cutify, cutify this bathroom. And so here's the vision, cakes. I've been seeing fake cakes all over social media, especially on Pinterest and TikTok. They're super easy to make. So what I'm thinking is one wall full of a whole bunch of these cakes, a cake mirror, wallpaper. Also, I should mention that I'm renting. So I don't want to do any drastic changes, but the wallpaper does scare me just a little bit because I don't want anything to come out of my deposit. But then the last thing I want to do is just change up the bathroom accessories. So let's get started with some cakes. I've already made a few in different colors. They're not perfect, but I feel like it adds character to them, but they're super lightweight. They dry really fast and easy to make. So here's all the items that you're gonna need. The first thing is spackling, but you wanna make sure that it's lightweight. If you're wanting different colored cakes, you're gonna need any sort of acrylic paint. So this time around, I'm gonna be doing blue. And as far as the cake itself, I'm gonna be using cake dummies, but you can do a jewelry box, a music box, really anything, but I would prefer to do this. You're also gonna need true cake supplies. So we have a piping bag, a spatula, and decorating tips. The very last thing you're gonna need are just decorations. This can be absolutely anything you want. I'm Keep in mind very cute, pink, and feminine, but if you wanted to do something like dark and alternative, you can do that route too. Let's take a break from our bathroom makeover to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. They're an all-in-one platform to help build a professional website, and all thanks to them, I have my own website, which is twinl.com. This is where I sell all of my thrifted and vintage clothing, but I can't stress enough how easy it is to use Squarespace, and they offer a wide range of tools, so the first one is e-commerce templates. Squarespace has a whole library full of different layouts and templates that you're able to choose from. So my website in specific is designed to sell clothes. So I wanted to make sure that the focal point goes straight to the clothes and that it's easy to navigate. The second tool they offer is inventory management. So if you plan to sell a digital physical item or even a service in high volume, this is what's gonna keep you organized. And the cool thing too is that you also get a notification anytime one of your items is low in stock or completely out of stock. The third tool they offer is secure payment. So anytime you have customers on your website and they're ready to check out, you can connect Stripe and PayPal so that way your customers can pay using their credit card, PayPal, or Venmo. The last tool I wanna to touch up on is a built-in mobile website. So every template that you choose does have its own unique mobile experience, which means that your website is gonna be accessible on an iPhone, a tablet, a desktop, literally any screen size in any device. So if you're ready to take your business to the next level, they do offer a free trial at squarespace.com. And then when you're ready to launch, that's when you're gonna visit squarespace.com slash Chanel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code TWINO. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back to making some cakes. First cake of today is already done. I don't know if I like it. I feel like it's all right. It is a little messy because I was having such a hard time with these little loopies, so they're pretty uneven. The next cake, I want to use these strawberries, but I feel like Amazon did me so dirty because look at how fake these look. But I'm hoping that once they're on the cake, they'll look a little bit more realistic. She is all done. I like how it turned out. I'm not sure if the strawberries look any more real, but you know what? It is what it is. I also love that our small smallest one of the bunch is all white. Our biggest one, all white too. Here is the last cake, y'all. This just feeds my ego, my creative ego, because look at how cute this cake turned out. 
What the heck? This is exactly what I was going for. Execution, 10 out of 10. I know it looks pretty ugly with the trash bags, but look at my freaking cakes. They came out so good. And the good thing is that they only take about like 24 to 48 hours to dry. So we're gonna leave this here for now. Our next project, the mirror. I was trying to do this whole bathroom makeover within a day. And then I checked the tracking for the wallpaper being delivered by DHL. Apparently, they attempted the delivery and I wasn't home. I have been here all day long. I never leave my loft, so I'm just like, um, excuse me, you guys are liars. So now this project is gonna take me two days and hopefully they can successfully deliver it tomorrow. They thrifted this mirror a few days ago for only $11. It has a dark wood frame, so I just painted it pink. I have the spackling here and then these are the cute little decorations that I wanna include. So it should be fairly easy, nothing like crazy difficult, but the only thing I have been experiencing is that the spackling is becoming really runny and like gooey, so it does doesn't keep its form or shape. Do you see how like melted they look? So I'm hoping it at least stays onto the frame. Otherwise, I think it might look a little ugly. My mirror is all done. It does slightly bother me that you can see the pink through, but you know what? I feel like the bathroom is gonna be pink anyway, so it'll work out. I was trying to fill in all the pink with these little dots, but it was a little too tedious. But unfortunately, look at this. My spackling is a bit runny, so it's kind of just molding together as one. But I feel like from far away, you can't really tell. So we're just gonna let her dry. I will meet up with you guys tomorrow for wallpaper. Guys, look at what came in. I'm so excited, kind of nervous too. I've never installed wallpaper before, but look at how freaking cute this design is. Look at this wallpaper. I love it, it's so cute. So I'm only gonna do one wall. We're gonna do this wall here. I've already prepped it. I also read the instructions on how to apply this because this is gonna be the only thing I will not be winking because this was expensive. But I found this wallpaper on TikTok. If you guys follow Danny Claric or Claric on TikTok, she actually designed this and she has it all over her storefront. She has her own vintage store in Miami, Florida. And if you think about it, it's just like a huge ass sticker. We just gotta make sure it's not crooked. So let's do it. we are to the edge but then as I go down you just see the space increasing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger so I don't feel like it's too noticeable plus it's at the very bottom and I am gonna have a whole bunch of hampers here holding dirty clothes anyway so it doesn't really bother me that much but it does make me wonder how the rest of the pieces are gonna align so something tells me I should probably just wait for my sister to come over since we're gonna have dinner together anyways but then at the same time, I kind of want to just do this myself so that I can surprise her and Arthur. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I've decided I'm just going to do it myself. Also, I didn't even think maybe my bathroom walls are just crooked. I might be doing an amazing job. But let's see how well the second panel aligns.
We have the second panel up now and I absolutely love it. It came out so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that my walls are crooked because my application is so damn good. I've been humbled. Corners were introduced and that was so confusing to figure out. And I had to cut a panel in half. So now I have this line here that's super noticeable, but I feel like when you're far away, you can't really tell, but y'all, we're so close to being done. All that's left is one panel. all done look at this wall we do have just like a few little hiccups but it's not too noticeable when you stand pretty far away so up next are all the cakes not all of them finished drying but you know what i'm getting a little too impatient but the focal point is gonna be this cake here it's a mirror that i got done by i got underscore five she's a small business on instagram and she customizes mirrors to whatever colors you want and any decorations and the good thing too is that it comes with a hook on the back so it should be fairly easy to hang I don't know if I like it. I feel like it's borderline tacky and not necessarily in a cute way. I also have to leave some space here because Arthur and I go through our dirty clothes pretty often, so we don't want to knock everything over. I don't know if it was a good idea putting one over the door. I also don't trust command strips. This is the first time I've ever used them before, and I just don't see them holding up for a really long time, so that's gonna bonk someone on the head pretty soon. We're getting all these walls done. So up next is this one with a toilet. I do have this silver towel rack that I wanna put up, and then right next to it is where I wanna place my cake mirror. The only bad thing is that this is where the door opens, so I don't know if it's the best placement, but I feel like I need a body length mirror in here so that people can check out their outfits. prettiest shower curtain you've ever seen. I feel like this totally fits the vibe of it being like very coquette, feminine, but playful at the same time. I don't necessarily need a shower curtain, but I'm not sure if I ever told you guys, but when I first moved into my downtown LA loft, the bathroom was disgusting. Like, you know how they usually clean every unit before you move in? Not this one. It was freaking filthy. And no matter how much I scrub inside of my shower, it still looks kind of dirty. So we're just gonna hide it. done i do want to show it off very soon but i was trying to put up the cake mirror it's not done drying i literally picked up a corner and all of the spackling came off so i'm gonna let that dry for maybe another day or two just to play it safe but let's do a bathroom accessories haul all of this stuff i either got from amazon or target so if you liked any of it i will leave it linked down below in the description but you can't have cake without eggs or i guess you can but I mean, look at how cute this is. But this is gonna be the toilet mat. I got this off of Amazon and it had really good reviews. I personally thought it was gonna be pretty, you know, bad quality, but it's awesome. And then we have just like pink colored mats. So this is gonna go in front of the sink right here to replace the gray ones that I have. Cause these have been with us for three years. So it's time to swap them out. And also, look at how cute this is. I saw this go viral all over TikTok and I always thought, man, I really want a toilet brush that's that cute, but it just didn't make sense with my previous bathroom. So now it totally makes sense, especially with all the cakes. And then this is more like the boring part, but glassware to put on top of the counter. We have a little dispenser for soap. It's just glass with silver hardware, nothing too crazy. I did want something that was pink, but it was just way too expensive. At Target, 
each one of these was only ten dollars and then just a basic cup for our toothbrushes i told arthur moving forward we could only use pink toothbrushes so that it matches the theme and then this cup was pretty cheap it was only eight bucks One thing I should have changed is this horrible bathroom lighting because what is this? But y'all, that pretty much does it for the end of the bathroom makeover. I absolutely love it. It's cute, it's pink, and also renter friendly. So even if I were to move in like the next few months or year, I could easily just pick all of this up and put it into my new bathroom. I also did try peeling a little bit of the wallpaper to see if it would leave any residue, pull off the wall, but it's good. It did absolutely no damage to the wall. So if you wanna buy any of the things that I'm using in my bathroom, I'll leave them linked down below. But when it comes down to it, there's only three things if you wanna like freshen up your bathroom. You don't have to do all three, but if you wanna stay on the more like budget friendly side, you can just do one or maybe two of them. My first thing is wallpaper. It easily like lightens up, makes a room more playful. The second thing is maybe just add new bathroom accessory so like colorful mats a new like intricate shower curtain and then the third thing is adding some DIY projects into your own space so the way that I brought in my fake cakes and my cake mirror just little things like that but let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section is this like absolutely hideous to you or would you have the biggest smile on your face if you were to walk in also a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video if you want to take your business to the next level go ahead and visit squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash tunnel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code TWIDO. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!